Ever wondered about the Apple founder who walked away from a 10% stake that would now be worth billions? You've heard of Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, but Ronald Wayne's story is the ultimate what-if. In just 12 days, he lost a potential golden ticket. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Get ready for a roller coaster ride through tales of a skyscraper turned magnifying glass, a million-dollar typo, and even a ship collision that caused a 100 $140 million splash. So get ready to feel better about your own blunders as we unravel these mind-boggling stories. Number 10. The Hubble Needs Glasses Let's move on to NASA now. In 1990, NASA launched the $1.5 billion Hubble telescope, aiming for dazzling shots of the universe. But the images were super grainy, like they were taken with a toaster. The culprit was the massive 7.8-foot mirror, off by just 1 50th the thickness of a human hair due to a calibration hiccup at the Perkin Elmer Corporation. Fixing the mirror in space was nearly impossible, but there was a solution. Glasses for the Hubble. By 1993, NASA installed CoStar, a corrective lens costing an extra $50 million. So while Hubble's mirror might have started as the universe's selfie stick gone wrong, it ended up being the rock star with the coolest glasses in the galaxy. Number 9. Melting Rays Imagine strolling through London's financial district on a sunny day and suddenly feeling the air around you heat up dramatically. It's not a scene from a sci-fi movie, it's the walkie-talkie skyscraper causing chaos. In spring 2014, London introduced a flashy new skyscraper to its skyline. Standing 525 feet tall, this shimmering addition, due to its unique curved design, soon earned the nickname the walkie-talkie. London's walkie-talkie skyscraper unintentionally focused sunlight to extreme temperatures. It would focus the sun's rays at specific times during the day into a super-intense beam, raising ground temperatures to 70 degrees Celsius. The beam was so hot it melted car parts, set a barber's shop doormat on fire, and even paved the way for one daring journalist to fry an egg on the sidewalk. Talk about sunny side up. Fixing this fiasco wasn't cheap. A massive sunshade had to be installed between the 3rd and 34th floors. This addition set back developers $12 million, on top of the building's whopping $250 million construction cost. Rafael Vignoli, the architect, admitted he saw the issue coming but had underestimated its severity. Number 8. $500,000 Typo can you remember sending a text with a silly typo? It's embarrassing, right? But now picture that little mistake costing you over half a million dollars. Back in 2007, an eBay seller named Collector Dan listed a rare gem, a bottle of Allsop's Arctic Ale. This wasn't just any beer, it was brewed especially for a polar voyage in 1852, a relic that could make any beer enthusiast's heart skip a beat. Now, here's where things took a twist. Collector Dan missed a crucial P in all sops while listing the item. And remember, this was 2007. Most websites, including eBay, weren't too forgiving with typos back then. It's like accidentally listing the Mona Lisa as the Mona Lisa at a garage sale and watching it get snapped up by someone looking for budget-friendly wall art. The result was that a rare historic ale worth hundreds of thousands of dollars received just two bids. Voodoo Score from Oklahoma bought it for $304. But Voodoo Score wasn't about to repeat Dan's mistake. He relisted the beer with the correct spelling, and 157 bids later, that bottle was sold for $503,000. Number 7. A 2mm Tragic Lesson Let's move on to the Siongsu Bridge. The Siongsu Bridge in Seoul was an everyday route for hundreds of commuters, but October 21, 1994 changed everything. That morning at 7.40 a.m., a 157-foot a section of the bridge collapsed. Cars, minibuses, and a packed bus dropped 65 feet into the Han River. 32 people didn't make it out alive, and another 17 were injured. What caused this tragedy? 
While some had mentioned the bridge felt unstable, the investigation pinpointed a construction error. The steel joints, crucial for the bridge's stability, were 8 mm instead of 10 mm. To make matters worse, the bridge, intended for vehicles up to 36.3 tons, was a regular route for vehicles weighing 47.3 tons. The financial aftermath of this error was significant. The state council paid $185,000 in compensation to victims, and rebuilding the bridge cost an additional $2 million. Number 6. The Ghosted Airport Picture this. A sprawling airport in Germany, gleaming terminals, bold designs, and even a functional railway station. Berlin-Brandenburg Airport was designed to symbolize Germany's reunification after the Berlin Wall fell. It was destined to be among Europe's busiest 15 airports. But here's the kicker. It's an airport where passengers are as rare as unicorns. You may wonder how an airport, all set to dominate the skies, remains empty. Mid-construction, they decided to double the terminal's capacity, and then they'd forgotten about shopping spaces, so new retail floors were added. The twists don't end there. 2012 was the big year. Invitations for the grand unveiling were sent out. But guess what? It never happened. The entire fire prevention system was busted, and as officials took a closer look, they discovered not one, not 100, but 550,000 faults. Berlin-Brandenburg Airport's planning blunders led to an empty $6.5 billion structure, over three times its initial budget. Number 5. The Bite in the Apple when you think of Apple, you probably think of Steve Jobs or Steve Wozniak. But did you know there was a third founder who made one of the most costly decisions ever? Let us introduce you to Ronald Wayne. He once owned 10% of Apple, but here's where it gets interesting. After only 12 days, Wayne decided to part ways. Whether uncertain of Apple's future or just wanting to avoid potential debt, he sold his 10% share. How much did he get? Just $800. But wait, let's fast forward to today when Apple is valued at over $1 trillion. That 10% could have been his golden ticket. But he got a regular candy bar instead of a tour of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Number 4. Alaska for Sale Bet you didn't know this. Way back before 1867, Russia owned Alaska, reeling in fur, tea, and ice profits. However, in 1867, Emperor Alexander II of Russia decided to sell the territory, recognizing the challenges of harsh weather conditions and geographical distance. The United States purchased Alaska for $7.2 million initially underestimating its potential. The perception of Alaska changed in 1896, when a significant gold deposit was discovered in the Yukon, revealing the region's untapped potential for natural resources like oil and gold. It's like skipping dessert and realizing it was a seven-course meal of deliciousness. Alaska's sitting on oil and gas worth about $200 billion today. Russia might have scratched their heads, seeing how they let a treasure chest slip through. Number 3. Imperial vs. Metric Let's talk about another error on NASA's part. In September 1999, NASA had this cool robotic space probe called the Mars Climate Orbiter. It was supposed to check the weather on Mars, which is pretty awesome, right? But something had to go wrong. The mechanics who sent it to space made a basic mistake. The engineers miscalculated the distance between the probe and the surface of Mars. The problem was some people used millimeters and meters to measure that, while others used inches and feet. God bless the imperial and metric system. So, the probe finally got close to Mars after traveling for 10 months. Instead of safely landing or doing its job, it got way too close to the planet. Just 35 miles away, it exploded and broke into pieces. Can you believe it cost more than $328 million to make that probe? And if we count inflation, over half a billion dollars just went up in space smoke. So, the lesson here is maybe agree to stick to one way of measuring stuff. Number 2. A Magical Mistake Unless you live under a rock, every bookworm and movie lover knows the story of Harry Potter. 
But did you know that J.K. Rowling faced numerous rejections before her magical tale found a publisher? After pouring her heart into Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for five years, Rowling and her literary agent faced a series of closed doors. Twelve publishing houses turned away from what would become a literary sensation. But Bloomsbury, sensing the potential, finally published it. Fast forward to the end of 1997. The demand for Harry Potter had skyrocketed faster than a Quidditch player chasing the Golden Snitch. Bloomsbury, the lucky publisher, raked in over $200 million a year, thanks to the boy who lived. Can you imagine the publishers who said no slapping their foreheads now? Number 1. The Sinking Trio in December 2002, the MV Tricolor was sailing the English Channel, filled with luxury cars. Nearby, the Kariba, a smaller ship, tried to overtake it, while another vessel, the Clary, was passing in front. This game of maritime chicken went horribly wrong. The Kariba and the Tricolor collided, resulting in the Tricolor sinking. What's strange is that none of the ships used their horns or radios to talk to each other before this happened. It took a whole year and $40 million to address the aftermath of the disaster. The total cost was a staggering $140 million. These stories remind us that even the most successful individuals and projects have their share of mishaps. The next time you face a mistake, remember these stories. You're in good company.